I'm Tim Jarzebeck. I play drums in No. No, I'm Shelby Merrick, and I'm um, just a friend of the band. Responsible for us coming here. Yeah. yeah. So I'm for... Nick, uh, singer, <laughs> guitar player for No. I'm Mike, and I play the piano. And the keyboard. <laughs> Among other things. We are the band No, and you are watching In the Pines, OSU. Yeah. Um, they started playing music first, because we're from North Idaho, so there's not a lot of stuff to do there, because it's really cold, like, like nine or ten months out of the year, and it's just horrible weather. So they started playing music, and then I just joined in, because I was like, hey, I, I would watch Elvis and the Beatles, I was like, I want to, and Jim Morrison, I'm like, I want to do that, that's like the <laughs> coolest thing in the world. So I was like, I'm going to do that part, and then you guys do background part. <laughs> He's like, why don't you guys just stand behind me and I'll play. So that's what we're doing and that's what we've been doing. I don't do that. I don't stand well, I'm the drummer so I'm always in the back and I don't get to talk too much either, but today's a good day. We met Bono in LA at the Chateau Marmont and he's nice and he just told us to drop our cover because our band was called No Cover. And he called us and critiqued our music. We gave him a couple CDs. And so he said, change the name to just no. And he said, I think it would look good on a t-shirt. So we did that and then we had t-shirts made. And then we sent him and his management a ton of t-shirts. And it's way cooler than no cover. Yeah, it's way like, cooler. No just sounds awesome, it just looks awesome, it just stands. Because today there's so many band names. Like everything you think of is completely taken. Like anything you can think of is already taken. And uh, No has probably been taken by a million bands too, but if you make it with the name No, it's it's almost, I think, crazy enough to work. You know what I mean? Like you could picture it getting big enough to where you'd see it everywhere. And we so go with I, like, I think it worked pretty well. Yeah, like No to bowling and No to like violence, stuff like that. So you can say No to anything. So it's kind of like, it's more, yeah, or no, no to anything you don't want to do, like yeah. <laughs> whether it's no something in school or I don't know, or something yes, to do with anything, your we, friends or whatever, you just say No to, you don't have to do it. So it's kind of cool. <laughs> I'm serious, that's kind of cool uh, in regards to the name. It's something you can actually believe in. Uh, I, I just like yeah. some name with a color, like seven purple, or you know, people <laughs> put stuff, stuff together. So we, that's why we like it's it. It's more of a positive name for us. And, and Bono suggested that. Yeah, and it's half his name. Yeah, it's half his name. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Bono. Yeah, he's involved like that. So it's cool. It's cool. I, I would say Las, uh, Las Vegas, I would say. It's a, super cool. They had a, it's a Gibson showroom. So they have all these Gibson, like rare and awesome Gibson guitars all over the wall. And the piano. It's in Vegas, so everything's totally like glamour and glitzed out. The piano has gold keys with it all sparkling and like bright pink and stuff, and it's just super cool. The acoustics are really good in that room too. I think that was our best performance. We performed Roll, and I, I thought it was pretty awesome. After, uh, in last, actually, I think it was in March, we flew out to Nashville, and um, Bob Doyle, who is Garth Brooks' manager, flew us out there, and he gave us this big studio to work in, so we recorded our album Roll which you can buy anywhere, and it's on our website, knowtheband.com. It's on iTunes, so you can get it anywhere. Um, but yeah, we just recorded everything in Nashville, and it's more dancey, like partying, fun, and um, we were having so much fun when we were out there, we just decided to make the single roll, and that's more of a party dance song, so it kind of defines the whole album. It's, and so yeah, it's more of a dance party album. Being, being in a band with my brothers and traveling is really really horrible at times <laughs> or it can yeah. be really rewarding and fun like before how they just both interrupted me on the question I mean that's on a scale of like a thousand billion trillion in the car and we're like right next to each other and he's like your knees are in my back your knees yeah. and we start like fist fighting and it's, <laughs> yeah. it's really horrible and obnoxious or yeah. like when you get out to go to a venue and he doesn't want to carry equipment because he thinks he's too good for carrying equipment like his own guitar so he makes Tim carry his guitar yeah. well, hold on a second let me tell you how it is being in a band <laughs> with my family so I actually stole his Les Paul guitar and then I contacted Howie Mandel to do this show on Fox called Mobs, which is airing again in the fall. So it gets so bad that I end up stealing things and we end up hurting each other. But for some reason, it always the show always goes on at the end of the day. So it always works out, even though we fight yeah, a lot. Yeah, weird? They it's argue weird. a lot. Yeah, we even argue during interviews. But yeah. for the most part, it gets it, everything. The job always gets done, and we always move on to the next thing. Um, 
basically it started with Ash and Shane lived in an apartment complex. We'd hang out a little bit and then like we were in his room once and he showed me his book of rhymes and I was like, oh my god, you write like you write stuff. I used to write a lot of slam poetry. And he's like, yeah, and I was like, well I have a guitar, you can play a little bit of music, it's like we can record. And so we played a song and I still have my iTunes, but we never released it called Crazy. Originally I didn't rap, I just sang terribly on the chorus. Showed it to Joe at this party because he was in another rap group called A Town. I told him that I could help out. So we brought Joe into it. Joe was like really adamant and super excited about it. That's when the three lazy dudes were formed. So we like got together, the three of us, and we made a song called Cali Stock. And then uh, I don't really remember exactly how Greg got in. I came in last. Uh, I am the fourth lazy dude, I'll admit it. Greg came in, I didn't even have any, like, I just like, I feel like I was replaced with Greg. We found this random guy on the street and we're like, oh, you know, we're three white guys, we need some diversity in our group, so we added Greg. But for a long time we were all making uh, one song kind of separately from one another. I didn't see Greg for like a two and a half months after he joined the band, I didn't even know Greg existed. I don't know, maybe four months after we said we were a band, we finally got in the same room together. And uh, yeah, eventually we all ended up in the same room, doing it at the same time, and the Four Lazy Dudes was kind of coined. And so the four of us came together and it was like magic, like we were like baby making all the time, all the time in the studio. What's the meaning of Four Lazy Dudes? Well, it's our motto, it's how we live. We all believe in laziness, uh, as our name dictates. Classic, so Four Lazy Dudes, where does the name like that derive from? Well, it's Greek. It's a Greek derivative, um, meaning lazy. And it's also an excuse if you don't like our music, because we're lazy, so. Our ancestors were in a group uh, called the Four Lewd Days. <laughs> <laughs> I think the laziness of it is we just, we like to sit, we like to drink beer and coffee, or both. And we like to to get together and create music. Five, six, seven. Johnny Milani had troubles in his life. For LD, we are. I'm just making shit up. I have no idea. We're just. We don't care. <laughs> Pretty much what we live by. And we all. we But considering how you know we say by that, we actually are not. Shut up! We actually are not uh, that lazy. We actually get shit done. So. I got more G's in my name than you suckers got in your bank. And the 4LD and company's here to make that plain. We bring the resonance, resounding like a herd of elephants. Irrelevant, honestly, that last bit I just spit for the hell of it.